Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. No. Good evening, teacher. Hi, everyone. Hi, teacher. Hi, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, great. So I'm having a little trouble with my computer today, so I'm sorry about the delay and well, anyways, I'm here ready. So good evening, everyone. Let me um, say hi to, to Hector. Hi, Hector, how are you? Fine, good evening. Okay. How was your day? Uh, usually busy. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's good. And tell me about the platform. Have you been working on it? Yes, I am. A few minutes ago, I am uh, practiced the, the listening exercise. What did you do last night? Oh, okay. That's good. How was it? Was it easy or difficult? Yeah, easy. Easy. Okay. That's nice. Good evening, Kelly Sarabia. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. How was your day? Uh, maybe uh, tired. A bit tired. Did you have yes. to work? Yes, I work all day. Oh, what do you do, Kelly? Um, I um, work in my house. It's a uh, um, more difficult because today, all day in the computer. Oh yeah, you have to spend the whole day on the computer, yeah, I get that. It's really tiring. Yes, it's really tiring. Okay, and the platform, Kelly, have you been working on it? Yes, I uh, listened to the to the uh, lesson the uh, uh, two point eight. Okay. Yes. All right, that's good. Okay, thank you, teacher. Sergio, good evening. Hi, teacher, good evening. How are you? I am fine. Okay, that's good. How was your day? Uh, normally. Uh, oh, okay. Yes, as usual. Yes, usually normal. Okay. Did you oh, do wait. work today? Uh, yes, today I finished I finished the section number four, number three. Okay, that's good. Great, it said he'll continue working then. Okay, teacher, thank you. Good evening, Rafael. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. I I have a, a very very work uh, work today. Okay, you had a hard day. Excuse me. You had a hard day. Un día duro, un poco difícil. Yes. Oh, that's yeah. pretty bad. But it's almost over, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, tell me about the platform, Rafael. Have you been working on it? I, uh, after, after the class, Okay, you worked after class. What section are you in? Excuse 
Excuse me? What section are you in? ¿En qué sección va? Two. You're in section two, okay? All right, we're doing well. Keep on working. Yes. Okay, good evening, Luciano. Hi, teacher, good evening. How are you? Oh. Fine, teacher. Great, how was your day? Uh, um, for uh, and working. Okay. And, full. Mm -hmm. and did you do any work in the platform today? Uh, I have no advance advances today. Okay, you haven't been working. What section are you in? Uh, starting at, at three. Okay, you're in section, section three, okay. three. That's okay. good. Very good. Alejandra, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. A little bit tired. Oh, I can imagine. Did you have to work today? Yes, teacher. Okay. And tell me about the platform. Have you completed any exercises there? Yes, I already completed the section number one. Okay. All right. Just keep on working then. Okay, teacher. Good evening, Mauricio. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Very tired. I have too many work. Oh, you had too much work. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And tell me about the platform. Have you had any time to work on it? Really, yesterday and today, I don't study in the platform. You have it. Okay. Maybe tomorrow. All right. That's fine. Yeah. Just remember that in this week, we have to complete all three uh, sections, one, two, and three, okay? Yes, okay. All right, very good, Mauricio. Karen Briseida, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher, and you? I'm doing pretty well, thank you. How was your day? Nice. Okay. Mm. And the work Very tired, teacher. Oh, really? And have you done any work in the platform, Karen? Yes. Yesterday, I started with section number two, but now, as soon as they finish the class, I finish the, this section, I start the section number three. Okay, that's nice. Good evening, Daniel Ocampo. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, fine. And you? I'm doing well, thank you. So how was your day? Uh, really, really good. I, I, have a, a busy day and I like a, a busy. Oh, okay. And have you been working on the platform? And today and after the class. Okay. What section are you in? Section two in the middle. All right. That's nice. Good evening, Stephanie. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, super good, and you? I'm fine, thanks. How was your day? Uh, a little five. Okay. 
been uh, have yeah. we been working on the platform, Stephanie? Yes, I finished section section one, two, and three and four, and oh. I just start section number five. Awesome, you're doing pretty well. That's very nice. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good evening, Ana Maria. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine. Okay. And you? I'm good, thank you. How was your day? Okay. My day is tired. Okay. I can imagine you had work. Yes. All right. And how about the platform? Have you been completing the exercises? Eh, no, ahora en realidad no tuve mucho tiempo. Okay. No avancé, me he quedado en lo, en lo mismo que... Mm -hmm. I have my book to section two. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're doing well then. Section two is fine. Just remember, this week okay. we have to complete all three sections, one, two, and three, okay? Okay. So we still have a couple, a couple of days to work on those. So you're doing okay. well. Okay. All right. So we're going to start with our class. Today we are going to talk a little bit about the past. So we already reviewed the negative form and also the questions right today we are going to just talk a little bit about the regular and irregular verbs in the past so let's start by talking about regular verbs so um as you remember as you may remember in english we have two different kinds of verbs we got regular verbs and also irregular ones and then um, for the regular ones, what we do in order to, to convert them into past forms is to add ed, right? Okay, I don't know where the dash is in this thing. Okay, so anyways, we add ed to the verbs, right? And we got um, verbs like wash. How do we make it past? Any ideas? What? Wash. Washed. Okay. Um, tell me another example, please. Play teacher, played. Play, it becomes played. Any other? Stay. Stay. Stayed. Stayed. Okay, what else do we have? Clean. 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 Okay, any other? How about the verb study? Study. Studied. Any other? Think about it. Look. Look. It becomes looked. Looked. Okay. Call. Call. Cold. It becomes cold. Need. What is it? Need. Need. 
that one becomes knitted. Okay, how about the verb watch? Watched. It becomes watched. All right, so here we have plenty of examples. Let's just uh, practice pronunciation. Please repeat after me. Wash, washed. Wash, 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 wash. Okay, we have to make the difference between this verb wash and this one watch. They sound different. What? So we say wash, washed, and the second one is watch, watched. Okay, now repeat, please. Wash. Watch. 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 Play. 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 Played. Played. Stay. 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 Clean. 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 Cleaned. 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 Study. Study. Studied. 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 Look. 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 Looked. 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 Call. 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 Cold. 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 Need. 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 Needed. 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 Watch. 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 Watched. Watch. 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 Okay, so that is what we have for the regular verbs. Remember that we add ed to them. And that will be it. Just uh, remember, whenever we have an, a verb that ends in Y, we change the Y for IED. If it is um, preceded, if there is a consonant before the Y. And in cases like, um, like in steak, when we have a vowel plus Y, we do not change it, right? Just keep that in mind. Then um, something important about the regular verbs is to remember about pronunciation. So we got um, three different sounds. Oh, I cannot use this this keyboard. Estoy utilizando la compu de mi hermana y no me puedo el teclado. Así que so sorry about this. So anyways, we got um, three different sounds. We got the d sound. We got, and we got another one, which is it. It is. So here uh, we have some, well, we have three different sounds for the ending of the regular verbs. We got, for example, the verb listened, listened, which ends in this sound, d listened then we got what what the last sound is t, what the other one we got is id as in painted painted so i need you to repeat d Listened. Listened. Now say it. Well, now, uh, I mean, say the, the sound. And repeat, walked. 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 And the last sound is id. Repeat, please. Id. 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 Painted. 
painted. Painted. Okay, so now we are going to do a listening exercise. I want you to please take some paper and a pen or pencil. Necesito que cada uno tenga su lápiz y un papel, cuaderno o lo que sea que tenga ahí a la mano. And um, we are going to do the following. First of all, copy the sounds, please. Um, copia, por favor, los sonidos. Así como los tengo acá. The d, t, and it. And then um, I am going to pronounce some verbs for you. You listen and you place the verbs in the corresponding ending sound. Voy a ir pronunciando los verbos. Usted va escuchando y los va escribiendo en la columna donde corresponden. Is that clear? Is that clear? Yes. Okay. All right, so let's give it a try. We got remembered, remembered. Se escucha y lo va poniendo en el sonido al que corresponde, remembered. For example, that one would be in here, remembered. Okay, second verb, what, what. Next one is moved, moved. Then we have planted, planted. Our next one is booked, booked. <laughs> Next, Repeat, please. okay, booked, booked. The last one I said is booked. Then we have looked, looked. Next one is wanted, wanted. Then we have the verb trained trained next helped helped our next verb is started started Next one, played, played. Rained, rained, rained. Then we have help, help, help. And the last one is developed, developed. Did you get them? Yes or no? Did you get the verbs? ¿Cómo estamos? ¿Los podemos yeah. ubicar? Yep. Okay, so let's check. We got remembered. What else did we get in the sound? Moved. Look. Looked. That one is in the d or t. What do you say? Played. Okay, played. here uh -huh. we got played. We also got trained. And rained. That's what we have in that sound. Then in the next sound, we got 
Boot. Boot. Also, what? We got looked. Also, held. 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 Devel developed. And developed. That's right. And in the last sound with it, we got planted. What else? Wanted and started. Wanted and started. Very good. Okay, so please everybody repeat. Remembered. Remember. 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 To emphasize the last sound. Remembered. 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 Moved. Moved. Played. 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 Trained. Trained. Rained. 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 Booked. 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 What? Looked. 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 Helped. 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 Developed. Developed. Planted. Planted. Wanted. Wanted. Started. Started. Okay. So now that we have talked a little bit about the regular verbs, let's talk about the other group, which is the irregular verbs. So how do I make the past form of the irregular verbs? What can you tell me about those? Eat, ate. Okay, we got, for example, eat, eat which becomes ate. <clears throat> By boat. By but Mama. begin Mama. begin Mama. began began. Any other example? Go. When Wrong. go went. What else? Find go. find spin find. Found. found. What's the other grow, one? Grow, 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 grow. No, grow, 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 run, run. run. Okay. Pitch. Pitch. Drive. Drop. Draw. Draw. Drink. Drunk. Drink. Drunk. Okay. Any others? Uh, Live. Forgive. Uh, sorry. Wait. Give. You said. Give. Give. Game. Get. Get. Got. Cast. What? Got. Wait. Wait. Waiting. Wait. Waited, which is regular, right? We only had ed. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, Play. No. Forgive. Take. Forgive. Forgive. Forgot. Forgive, forgive. Okay, 
Seguramente lo que te quieren cobrar es la membresía sí. por tener esa tarjeta. Please take your <laughs> microphones. Took. They took. Took. Forget, forgot. Forget, forgot. Okay, how about the pass of catch? Catch, caught. Cut. Another one. Do. <laughs> what is it? Do. Do. Yes, it's really did. important, right? Do, did. Okay, so as you can see, the irregular verbs change, right? Um, some of them remain similar to the present form and some others just change and they're just different, right? So we, we got to just practice them and learn them by heart, memorize them, okay? Okay. okay. All right. And then um, just to remind you about how to make sentences using the simple, the simple past. First of all, we need a subject. Then we need the verb in the past. So that means that if we are using a regular verb, we add ed. If we are using an irregular verb, we change the form. And after that, the only thing we need is a complement. Then the period. Let's make some examples. I ate pizza yesterday. Tell me another example, please. I, I run. I run. The, the the last the last night last night last night another example please i found my teacher i found my teacher i found my t-shirt Okay, let's use a different subject. Use we. We are. Um, tell me a sentence in the no. past, please. Uh -uh. We. We drank. Went drunk. Coffee. Coffee. Okay, now let's make one using you. The, the supermarket. You went to the supermarket. All right, very well. So now let me give you some time to work in the breakout rooms. I need you to uh, answer the following questions. What did you do yesterday? So just think about the things you did yesterday and and you share them with your classmates, okay? So just think about what you did. If you stayed home, did you clean? Did you watch TV? Did you sleep? What did you do? Or if you had to work or, I mean, just whatever thing you did yesterday, please share it with your classmates. So let me send you to okay. the rooms in this moment. Just give me a sec. There you go. <laughs> okay, just go ahead and share about yesterday. What did you do?
Yep. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Ma, uh, I understand. Uh, we are need uh, structure the sentences. Question or sentences? Sentences. You're talking about the things you did yesterday. For example, you say yesterday I went to the supermarket. Um, then I came back home. I watched TV. I ate some pupusas. I visited my grandma, and so on. Okay. Only ask. Only ask. Only ask her the question. What did you do? Do yesterday. yesterday. Exactly. That's what you have to. Ah, uh, different. Yeah. Different answer. Different yeah. answer. I okay. went. I went to the work. I. I drove. I drove to my work. Oh. I. Uh, I. I have one two. I I get no I got I got some money um I I spend the money too <laughs> <laughs> I I got and I spent <laughs> but what else <laughs> <laughs> I, all, I, all, I, all, I like it, the, the, the spins. <laughs> <laughs> it's the easy part. <laughs> the hard part is God. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, I, I run. One kilometer. Ahí el complemento. ¿En qué? Ahí haría falta el, uh, aumentar el complemento. When did you? Yesterday. When do you? Yesterday. Yesterday. Uh -huh. Andre. When do you get? No, I sería. ¿Cómo es correr? Morning. Run. 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 Um, what do you mean, Ana Maria? Perdón? What do you mean? ¿A qué se refiere? Eh, por ejemplo, podríamos utilizar, bueno, vamos a utilizar, me imagino, la W, question. Um, so we are, tell me, Luciano. Eh, oh, uh, uh, when did you just uh, run? Oh, when did you run yesterday? Um, in any case, you need to ask, when did you run? But um, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's when clear. did you We're run? Just answering the question, what did you do yesterday? So you have to share all the activities you did yesterday. For example, you could say, I worked all day. Then I had lunch together with my co-workers. I ate some chicken for lunch. Then I watched TV. And my family and I watched a movie. 
and so on. That's what you have to share. I don't know if it's clear. No sé si estamos claros en cuanto a lo que estamos haciendo. Well, no. Not really. Sí. Okay, let me explain it. Estamos Sorry. respondiendo, it's okay. Estamos respondiendo la pregunta, what did you do yesterday? ¿Qué hizo ayer? Entonces solo debe de, de compartir las cosas que, que hizo, ¿verdad? Ah, oh, ok. Hemos entendido que a, a elaborar este, preguntas y respuestas, digamos, pero solo es entonces... You just have to answer the question, what did you do yesterday? Ok. Hi, Kelly and Karen. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Have you finished? Yes, I practice and I... Uh, the question. Okay. So you're done? Yes. All right. So we are going to get back in just a minute. Okay, teacher. Okay. It's good. Um, what kind of um, TV series do you like? I like... Um, I don't know what is the genre, but serious like Okay, so now that you had a chance to talk a little bit about what you did yesterday, let's practice by making sentences and also questions. So I'm going to give you a subject, in this case, you. Also, let me give you a verb, it. Yeah, it cookies, let's say yesterday. So now what I need you to do is to make a sentence. What would be the sentence in the affirmative form in the past? Did you eat? So, a sentence. Okay. First of all, we make a sentence. You ate cookies yesterday. You ate cookies yesterday. Okay, now make it negative. You ate. You didn't eat cookies uh, yesterday. Okay, so we got you, you ate cookies yesterday. The negative, you didn't eat cookies yesterday. And the question. Did you eat Did you eat yesterday? Did you eat cookies yesterday? Very good. Now I have a second one. It goes with they drink milk this morning. Let's see, Andrea Araceli, help me with this one, please. Um, they drank me. They drank milk this morning. Okay, they drank milk this morning. Make it negative, please. Again. They didn't drink milk, milk this morning. Thank you. Elena Lopez, can you make a question, please? Uh, 
Elena. Okay, how about Sergio? Sergio, can you make the question in number two? So we got, they drank milk this morning, they didn't drink milk this morning, and what's the question? Uh, was, uh, will be question, teacher. Um, you make a question using the same information in the auxiliary did. Okay. Did they? Did they uh, drink milk this morning? Excellent. Thank you, Sergio. Next one okay. is, I travel last year. Help me with this one, please, Edwin Castro. Okay, I I did travel last year. And change it to the past, please. Change the verb travel. Uh, I travel. Uh, I traveled uh -huh. last year. Last year. Now make it negative, please. Uh, I I didn't. I didn't travel, mm -hmm. travel last year. Great. Thank you, Edwin. Stephanie, okay. make a question, please. Did you travel last year? Did you travel last year? Excellent. We got another one. It goes like we go to the beach last month. Luciano, make a sentence, please. Yeah. We we go, we we go to the beach last month. Mm -hmm. uh, Make it negative. Negative. We not go to the beach last month. You didn't or did not. Uh, we did it. We didn't. Go to the beach last month. We didn't go to the beach last month. Thank you, Luciano. And the question, let's see. Hector, help me with the question, please. Uh, did, they, did they go to the beach last month? Okay, very good. Thank you, Hector. Okay. All right, next one is for Karen, number five. It says, Susan, buy new clothes last week. There you are, Karen. Go ahead. Susan bought new clothes last week. Okay, make it negative, please. Susan didn't buy a new clothes last week. All right, thank you. Alejandra Gabriela, make a question, please. Did Susan buy new clothes last week? Very good. Next one is Marta and Lucy. Do exercise yesterday. Daniel, help me with this one, please. 
Martha and Susan and, and Lucy didn't do exercise yesterday. Didn't do exercise yesterday. Now make an affirmative sentence. Uh, sorry, repeat please. Yes, can you make the sentence in the affirmative form? Mm, so sorry, I don't, you understand. I don't okay. understand. You already said the negative. Now tell me the affirmative or the positive sentence. Ah, okay. Uh, Marta and Lucy did exercise yesterday. Very good. And the question, Kelly? Sorry, did Martha and Lucy do exercise yesterday? All right, very well. Next one, we got James. Have pupusas for dinner. Sergio, help me with this one, please. Uh, me teacher. Yes, Sergio Eduardo. Uh, did, J did, did James have to put us for dinner? Very good. Now make an affirmative sentence, please. Uh, in affirmative. Yes. James had pupusas for dinner. Okay, and the negative is? Uh, Jay, James didn't have pupusas for dinner. All right, very well, thank you. Let's see, we got another one over here. It says, I practice English last weekend. Stephanie, can you help me with this one, please? Okay. I practiced English last weekend. All right, make it negative. And negative, I didn't practice English last weekend. Okay, and the question, Stephanie? The question is, did I practice English last weekend? Great. Did you practice English last weekend? Excuse exactly. me. <laughs> That's okay. All right, we got then, they sing a romantic song. Hector, can you help me with this one, please? Okay. Uh, did they sing romantic song? Okay. Now the sentences. Uh, in, in negative? Both, affirmative and negative. Me? Both affirmative and negative. Uh, okay. Okay. They sing a romantic song. They didn't sing a romantic song. Okay. Very good, Hector. Thank you. Okay. And the last one. We Give her a birthday present. Luciano, help me please. We have her a birthday present. We gave her a birthday present. Make it negative. In negative, uh, we think gave her a birthday present. 
Okay, we say we didn't give her a birthday present. And the question? In the question, did, did, we, did we give her a, a birthday present? Did we give her a birthday present? Okay, thank you, Luciana. All right, so just um, let's practice the verbs for a couple of minutes. So I'll tell you a verb in the present and you tell me the past form. The verb cook, what's the past? Anybody? What's the past of the verb cook? Cook, cooked. The verb visit, what's the past form? Visited. Visited. Try. Try, try. That's Why? One. Try. Throw. That one is tried. The past of try is tried. Okay, next tried. one. Stop. Oh, okay. Stop. Stopped. Is the double P E exactly. D. Exactly, you're right, Stephanie. Next one is dance. Okay. What's the pass of dance? Dance. Danced. Okay, let's see. Karen, can you tell me the past of the of the verb no? No. This one, no. I don't know, teacher. I, I don't remember in this moment. Okay, don't worry. It's um, new. 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 No, okay. new. Okay, Andrea Araceli, what's the past of read? Andrea, do you know the past of read? Red. Red, that's right. And the past of write, what is it? Road. 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 Okay, how about the past of four? Falling. No. Mm. Fail. Fail. Yeah. And the past of feel is? Felt. Felt. That's right. Okay, so that will be all for today's class. Do we have any questions, any doubts, comments? I don't know. No. Okay, so thank you very much for participating in the class. See you tomorrow. Take care. Have a good night. Yeah. Tomorrow. Hey, good night. 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 Good night.